Okay. So if we talk about today's topic, it is should stray animals be killed or not? So if we talk about stray animals, especially in India, they are a matter of debate because we often see stray animals causing trouble to people, especially to rich people and rich societies. So why, if we, because if we see a perspective, we humans destroy or disturb them at first. We humans are the biggest reasons. We humans consider earth to be ours, but when it comes to animals, we discriminate them that it is not theirs. They cannot enter in our area. So is it the actual way of, of working? So the discussion, so let's start the discussion. So who wants to go first? Aarti ma'am. Nice, sir. Um, good evening, everyone. And my name is Aarti. And today I'm here to uh, discuss upon the topic, should, uh, should anim stray animals be killed? So before start uh, before starting the topic, let us understand the meaning of stray animals. Stray animals are domesticated animals uh, um, uh, such as dog or cat that have either uh, that have either ab abdoned or um, or lost or now they live uh, and now they live without uh, their owner or um, or home. So they they typically live in public. They typically live in public areas and uh, survive uh, survive themselves. So uh, I back to I back to uh, differ with the topic because uh, I think uh, we should not uh, we should not kill stray animals because uh, usually uh, yes it's correct stray animals harm you uh, human but uh, it sometimes harm uh, people usually they do not harm people like uh, for example if uh, they might bite or scratch some uh, scratch any people just just because uh, they uh, just because but... they defend they defend themselves they want to defending themselves they want they want to uh, defend themselves otherwise uh, uh, otherwise they they uh, always they don't want to uh, otherwise they don't want to uh, harm any people they are usually they avoid they avoid these and you, usually they try, they try to avoid these uh, these things like uh, people uh, they are not aggressive usual they are, usual they are provoked Take a so are you? So you can take a pause. No problem. So are you? You can take a pause. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Today is he's sitting behind me now. Ah, okay. You can speak after some time. Right? No problem. Okay. So let us go with others. Okay. Okay. So yes, please, sir. What What is your opinion about the topic? So, good evening, all of you present here. I am free from negative side to speak on the topic that should stray animals be killed. So first of all, we talk about what is stray animals and who are the stray animals. So stray animals are the one who has no home or shelter and either being born on the streets or abandoned by their owners. So from my point of view, uh, stray dogs or stray animals shouldn't be killed because these stray animals are used as domesticated animals in early period. And because of this, these animals are habitual of living with the humans. And nowadays humans don't take them with them or they just keep a foreign breed with them as a pet. And people claim that these animals are threat, but in real humans are threat for these animals because these animals uh, don't do anything um, on their own. First, humans are the one who hurt them. And when humans hurt them, they counterattack. Like uh, whenever uh, these animals uh, rested side on the uh, street or road, humans uh, kick them or uh, hit them by the stick. Like, uh, and uh, uh, whenever these animals uh, st stand in front of their home, then uh, because of fear of this animal or or showing their power people uh, hit them and uh, their uh, children do the same thing whenever their children uh, throw a stone on them or uh, hit them by a bicycle they don't say anything and therefore 
and therefore their children do the same same again and again and when this is the animals counter attack then these people says that uh, this animals uh, should be killed or this animals are threat and uh, why this uh, why people says that uh, this animals are threat this this animal never uh, attack uh, by their own like uh, their their habit is not like this and humans thinks that uh, like uh, whatever they do is right why humans are more evolved uh, from them that's why or uh, humans just smarter than this so humans thinks that uh, uh, we will control everything like uh, earth is only for humans not for other animals so this is not right and if we talk about uh, attacks then uh, uh, we came across the, with the news like uh, their expensive breed of dogs uh, attack a, a child or a lady or any other person and uh, if we uh, see properly then we get uh, cases more than any stray dogs that uh, their expensive dogs uh, breed attack on the people more than any other uh, stray dogs and uh, uh, the, their is uh, expensive breed uh, dogs uh, are highly restricted by the government because of their aggressive nature but still they buy them and take them as a pet and when they take them on a uh, walk then uh, their dogs are uh, out of control and they attack on the people and uh, like this so they can also hurt others so should we kill them too if not then uh, why this is the animals so thank you i where are you reading no. are you acha your acha camera angle is different hmm? okay, okay. your eyes were seeing yeah. you were reading <laughs> no. I really, I really, really like there's nothing. The entire time you were reading. Are ah, ah, why I trust you? Why don't worry? Why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're <I'm> not crying. <laughs> no, no. Your eyes were yeah. seeming that you are not looking on the screen. Okay. So, okay, great, great, great. So, what do you all think about the? even we have no, not left dogs in categorizing them as rich and poor the dogs who live on the street they are considered as poor and the dogs which are uh, bought for money for example labrador or these all breeds so they are considered as rich dogs so we humans have not even left dogs in that so what is your opinion on this freak sir what do you think like uh, mainly humans uh, take this because they looks uh, like strong or they look uh, more uh, like uh, they look so good but uh, in indians we said indian breeds are not uh, look uh, looking so good because of uh, the uh, malnutrition therefore so they don't get uh, much of food on the street so therefore they look like so weak and uh, they don't look uh, so good but uh, these uh, all foreign dogs are uh, look like uh, so good and uh, look so strong therefore people take them uh, with uh, as a pet or uh, for uh, as a like a royalty okay so we can say that in india people can, achha, okay i want to ask you one question can we say or can we infer that dogs have also become a status of symbol it has become a symbol of status sorry i said the opposite has it become a symbol of status ki bhai yes i am rich so see i have a very You know, expensive dog. I have bulldog. I have Rottweiler. I have this dog. So, do you think? And nowadays, that cute puppy is oh. also there, right? Na, which is very famous. Every society has that one cute puppy with lots of yeah. hair and fur. So, what do you think about that? No, from my point of view, this is not like this. Like we can also, if we take uh, like this street animals as a pet, then we can also provide them as a good food. Then they look like good and. so this is not related to the status from my point of view thank you okay 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 let's move on let's move on yes archana ma'am what do you think about the topic okay so good afternoon sir i'm archana sir i'm a student of amrita institute of bhopal so today i'm over here to discuss upon the topic should the uh, uh, state dog be killed so before begin with the topic let us understand what is a state dog so uh, Street dogs uh, are uh, pets like a uh, cat and uh, dogs, and uh, it's a uh, uh, they have no homes 
and uh, they they stay outside and uh, they have to find uh, food by, uh, by themselves so it's called ishida and uh, from my point of view i def defer to the topic i think uh, uh, street dogs should not be killed because uh, and uh, street uh, uh, it's uh, we use uh, its different method like a human method to pain or adoption or uh, to control their population and uh, some people think like uh, uh, street dogs should be killed because uh, uh, to reduce uh, overpopulation and uh, for a safety risk uh and uh, they think like a uh, street dog is really harmful for our society but i think uh, first we humans are uh, really harmful for our society so uh, so what about this can we re uh, remove all humans can we kill all humans no so why these animals and uh, uh i think uh, we should think about them and we should uh, uh, we should uh, uh, we should use a human method like a uh, adopting them and uh, we should provide food and uh, home uh, for them and uh, we are think like uh, uh, no doubt we are uh, if we are not disturbing them if we are not disturb first disturb them so uh, we uh, we will not uh, hurt hurt us so uh, and uh, no doubt we are human and uh, we we have more, we are more smarter than uh, uh, as compared to the dog so uh we but we have no right we have no right to kill anyone because this earth is not only for humans this earth is for everything like uh, animals insects and humans for everything so why should be uh, why should be killed anyone so we have no right and uh, i think uh, uh, i think uh, if uh, a street dog is uh, bad for for us so what about uh, those pet animals like uh, pit bull dogs so pit bull dogs uh, no doubt uh, is really cause a lot of problem in society so uh, should we kill them no so why sh why should we kill uh, kill the stray dog so i think uh, uh, we we have to uh, we have to need think about them we have to adopt them and uh, Uh, or uh, we have to provide and uh, provide food and uh, uh, home for them we should not kill them thank you sir perfect 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 okay but i want to ask one question if stray dogs are this good so what are the benefits of stray dogs matlab why are we protecting them what is the need what are the benefits of stray dogs okay i think uh, uh stray dog uh, uh, if we adopt them so um uh, it's good for our society because uh, uh, they they control over the uh, over population and uh, like how population what are the benefits this is a by product of if, if we adopt them only then but what are the advantages of having stray dogs why should we keep them what okay sir so i think we we have to no need uh, uh, to uh, to buy any foreigner dog like uh, this kind of uh, uh, foreigner dogs uh, we have to provide them good food and nutrition so uh, they look like uh, i mean they good uh, look uh, like good and uh, we have the question i asked and the answer i am asking what are the benefits of street dogs why do we need to keep them okay we can consider ke chalo street dogs also require the same equality but why what are they doing are they narendra modi that they are running the country no 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 okay so what are they doing <laughs> okay i okay sir uh, dogs dog is really i mean a uh, good actually uh, they uh, if we have dog so uh, there are no any stolen uh, stolen uh, uh, fear like uh, uh dogs but we are talking about stray animals and the definition of stray animals as is that there is no owner of that dog so how can we say acha okay yes, you can take some time to gather your thoughts the question remains the same for everyone that what are the benefits of street dogs why do we require them why why do we need to protect them okay morals okay everything okay but what is the actual reason what are they helping or what they are doing in the society Okay. Anshika, I have another example. Over here. 
नहीं लेट मी आस्क यू गिव माय एग्जांपल यस मैम मैम कैन यू गिव योर इंट्रोडक्शन या माय नेम इज अंशिका आई एम फ्रॉम मुंबई आई रिसेंटली ग्रेजुएट फ्रॉम बीटेक कंप्यूटर साइंस ब्रांच ओके फ्रॉम व्हिच कॉलेज एक्सेस कॉलेजेस ओके सो मैम व्हाट डू यू थिंक अबाउट दिस टॉपिक uh i uh, so i say it benefits no 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 should stray animals be killed or not what do you think about it yeah sure uh first of all i stray animals who have no home like uh, stray animals uh, cat and dog why we need to kill because uh, there is no human. if we kill the dogs that is no showing the humanity we control these thing like uh, stray animals uh, this is we control these uh, phenomena like that uh, if we uh, protect give the vaccinations like uh, rabies okay okay go on go on rabies the uh, reason for control like public stray animals like carry karte hain diseases like rabies till this tamper and other diseases that things human not cannot uh, live that uh, stereo uh, and safety they any time uh, give the scratches and uh, attack to the human okay okay is it uh, okay so disease is a very good point i would say that disease is a very 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 good point i would say it is an absolute great point which we can add to this conversation that diseases is a very very major part not only just stray animals but even if we talk about mosquitoes and they are also stray only so but the topic is stray dogs but still we can take an example that how harmful are these stray animals in general so this is a very good point which we can add which ma'am said about diseases yes ma'am and second one to it damages the properties like the crops great great yes ma'am crops also and do uh, you have some more points uh but to we we have solution if we provide if some vaccination and spray we live that to pets in the home and we organize the program that's called abc Okay, ma'am. I want to ask you one question, just as a general yeah. question. If we talk about COVID vaccine versus dog vaccine, what humans will support more? What do you think? Will humans save other humans or dogs? Human vaccine. So definitely, the difference is clear. That we ourselves don't want to. you know save them before us they are just like what is the actual reason and i asked a common question why are we protecting them morals okay morals for morals to we are not we cannot kill mosquitoes also don't yeah. they they are also equal why are we killing mosquitoes they are also they yeah. will we'll kill them it doesn't go like that baki to ma'am your points are very good as in for the first day it is quite quite good bahut badhiya it is very very good like on the first day if you are going able to speak this much it is going to be very beneficial for you i can see everyone smiling mujhe bhi to yahi bola tha okay so let's move on to other people also let's see what what other people have to say yes raman ma'am <laughs> Good evening, honorable adjudicator, and good evening to all of you present here. I'm Raman Deep Kaur. I'm a student of American Institute of Bhopal. Today, I speak on the topic: uh, Should uh, stray dog, stray animals be killed? And uh, just stay. Just brief definition of stray animals is uh, uh, animals who are not their own house, who are not their own shelter. They live on the street, and sometimes they die on the street if nobody take care of them and i back to differ with the topic because um, 
as a human being, uh, it's our responsibility to save our environment, to save our uh, nature, and in including the animals. And if we damage our uh, uh, environment, it is also uh, it is also not good for humans. And uh, uh, and animals have their own right for living as same as humans. Like uh, Article Twenty One gives the right to uh, uh, give the right to, uh, give the right for surviving on the earth. Uh, all the animals. And if a person, if a, like a humans, uh, give poison or uh, physical harm to other animals and uh, kill them, the, uh, the section uh, four twenty eight. For seven, and four, or twenty eight, and give uh, punishment to the humans for the killing and the other animals and hurting to them. And from my point of view, uh, we are uh, like uh, in some religions. If I uh, give an example, like in Hinduism, we we are uh, always uh, distribute the statues of the animals for impressing to, impressing to God. But on the other hand, humans are killed them for their protection. But it is not to uh, make any sense. And uh, sometimes uh, humans declare that uh, stay, dog, stay animals are very harmful for us. But they, uh, they are not harmful. If a person can get irritated them, then in their attack to them, save themselves, save them themselves. So that's why they attack on the humans. But on the other hand, like it is saying that give respect and take respect. If we give respect and give love to the state of the state animals, they also give us dual love and respect. Like if I give an example of my own granny, my own granny is an animal lover, and she always. Um, Continuously, thirty years. She all uh, continuously. She offered. Um, she gives food to the stray animals like cat, dogs, cows, buffaloes, and other. And she and it's also helpful for me nowadays. Like nowadays, she gives three. Uh, she raises three uh, stray dogs, and whenever I go alone my home. They always protect me as my bodyguard, and nobody can tease me on this uh, on the road if I am alone. So it is beneficial for us if we uh, if we take care of these stray animals, and uh, and it is not uh, and uh, like some but if I have an expensive expensive breed of dogs for the reputation, but uh, sometimes it is many cases when a uh, Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma 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 today I will interrupt in between. Today I will interrupt in between. It is going too long. The limit is three minutes, but okay, you are taking it even, Nana. So please just try to conclude it before three minutes. Now we are almost okay, in the sir. last week nine of the. Sir. So okay, should sir. try to keep it. Yes, very yeah, not saying. Sorry, sir. Okay, from my point of view, we we shouldn't uh, kill the stray animals because it's a. Uh, Part of our environment, it's a part of our human, it's a part of our nature. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. I have one question from you. Sure, not... You told yes, about sir. animal laws. Who created animal laws? We humans created animals, did not protest for themselves to create human laws. So, again, we humans are ruling over them, we are deciding their rights. So, it is the same, no? Because they are. They are... Because, uh... All the, the uh, all the human all the rules are uh, created by humans, but most of the rules are breaking by the humans, like human safety also, like uh, carry seat belt on the when you are driving. But most of the people are not carrying. Ma'am, but dogs don't drive. The I am my question is quite straight. We humans make laws for animals. Who are we to decide what rights do they have? If I do this for a woman, that woman cannot do this, woman cannot do that. So it becomes a matter of protest. But when it is coming in animals, so why is it different? The question is that. Sorry, sir. You Could you repeat again? Could you repeat again? The question is 
who are humans to decide the laws for another creatures if i as a man decide that a woman cannot wear this cannot say this cannot do that so it is the same for animals who am i to decide what an animal what your what rights an animal has so what opinion do you have on that because animals did not protest that we want equality among humans but some i think from my point of view some animal lovers like to, to protest and give the um, i am an animal lover i am an animal lover but i love to eat chicken why but is it limited uh, friend on the others i also am an animal lover but i don't eat uh, in non veg no i am like i am an animal lover but i love to eat non veg so why is animal love restricted to just rich dogs or big dog or cats no like carrier expensive dog or this type of animal this is not a animal lover animal lover means you love all the animal you yeah. do not depend what is your reply to my question i want a very specific answer but from my point of view actually mujhe aapka question samajh nahi aa raha acha okay okay let's do one thing hai na whatever questions i am asking these are very great questions okay if you ask in these debates hai na nobody can answer if you see you yourself can try you will face a lot of difficulty to answer your confidence level will go very down out of sudden so these questions i am telling so if possible try to note it down yeah try to keep it in your mind for as long as you can because the more you will push hard in these things the more your mind will start reading these and you know, a patterns and textures so automatically your brain will also create these questions so these are wonderful questions which you can ask in between people so you can leave them speechless you what to say okay so yes uh, arti ma'am what do you have to say about the topic because hai you na know, interruption was there but now i think so quite good the interruption is still sitting behind me <laughs> okay okay <laughs> <laughs> okay sir so, uh, stray dogs are uh, considered as bad because uh, they they are create some uh, so many causes like they create uh, they causes uh, disease like rabies and parasites and uh, they also uh, damage our property and they also causes noise pollution so uh, but large and lo- and a large population of uh, safety uh, and la- large population of stray animals are also considered or um, are, are also lead to a concern about uh, um, about safety and cleanliness but these but uh, these are not the reasons to hate uh, stray animals it's important and the stray animals are not inherited bad they are they they are headed inherit uh, they are bad because of uh, lack of care and the and the victims of abandonment so instead of hating uh, hating stray animals we should uh, take uh, take another measures to uh, to uh, reduce or uh, to uh, to their population like uh, they, and take care of them like uh, uh, staying them and uh, sorry staying them and uh, arush and such as suffering is is paying them and uh, and sheltering them and adoption program also so in my opinion uh, we should not uh, we should not kill stray animals stray animals uh, are not so much beneficial for us, us but but they are low maintenance in compare uh, comparison to other like uh, home animals and if we uh, adopt uh, these stray animals they become um, they are uh, more gratitude they uh, gives more gratitude towards us uh, rather than the uh, uh, pet who are living with the, uh, in our home so i think we should not kill them thank you your one word is coming again and again in my mind that is abandonment nahi nahi ha but that so it is that so you reminded me but ha uh, thank you for reminding but if we talk about <laughs> your one word which you are using that is low maintenance so do you think that keeping dogs is a burden because it is inferring that that low maintenance means that you are referring to burden that keeping dogs is a burden so what do you have to say about that 
sir who are not animal lovers for them keeping dog a dog is a burden i have a dog but i am an animal lover and I, and i love to eat chicken so what do you have to say i also have a dog but i eat chicken and i see myself as an animal lover so am i a good person so uh, you are a uh, not a, a animal lover uh, in in this case you are a dog lover uh, if and you are foodie also that's why uh, you wants to eat chicken and all okay <laughs> okay great 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 and you, know, you know very less people have the ability to speak the truth it is very very good and now some people think what will he think bhai if i am trying to refute him it is very good yes uh, rifat ma'am so you are not audible properly okay yeah now i think so it would be a bit more audible now it is audible yes, so what did you say sir yes ma'am now it is audible everyone what did you say sir nahi i was saying ki now it is audible first of all yes okay. sir ah, yes i was saying that many less, very less people have the ability to say the truth i like yes you are not an animal lover you are a confused person so it is a very good thing but <laughs> and very less people have the woe, what we say guts to say ki, yes you are wrong so it is very good okay so moving towards okay, thank you, sir. yes ma'am yes uh, refat ma'am what do you think about the topic should stray animals be killed sir, or sir, from my point of view we have no right to kill animals yeah go on go on we have animals have right to live like uh, like human okay okay stray animals have no choice since their birth they they ah. also need a place to live and uh, from my point of view um, okay stray animals harmful sometimes but not every time stray animal uh, animals harm anyone only that time when uh, when someone irritates them but only that time they attack humanity is uh, i'm i'm not favor uh, I'm not in the favor of uh, stray animal. I am just favor in the human uh, in humanity. I am. I have a question to that people who kill the stray animals. If I'm gone, gone. If they, again, sir, I'm dying. You know, it's my second day. ट If human, if human need food or a place for living, same thing with animal. They they don't choose harmlessness for themselves. Uh, they also want uh, a belly full of food and a warm place to sleep. and a place for living there should be there should be some organization they taking uh, they take care of stray animals um, as i can say that you spoke better than your first day you know so it is quite good that you tried a lot i would say there okay, are sir. few 
things which you need to work on the number one is confidence your confidence level is very down but if i see whatever you have said okay sir from that i can see that you are a capable person you can do and mind it i don't use the word capable capable with everyone this is a very unique word in my if it is coming from my side dipika ma'am is there yes ma'am good evening sir my name is dipika and today's topic is should we kill the stray animals or not so um, first I, question i feel like i have uh, anna i have not weighed my specs can you please clear your camera but it is not i am not able to see नॉट so first i want to ask that why we need to kill the stray animals because they don't look good and they are not well groomed so people kill them but if we are ju judging someone because of their appearance that is very bad it's a very unfair judgment we can't kill them because everyone deserves worth and everyone deserves the respect and uh, people love the pet animals very much and they give them food shelter and love also but kill the stray animals and which is a very bad thing human always tend to prioritize their own convenience their own safety and their own comfort um often uh, often they have to kill the animals and uh, human always think that the they have the more power they have the more technological advancement so they have the right to kill anyone and control anything which is very bad if we have the more power then it's our responsibility to save everyone and to protect our ecosystem because every creature is important on the earth every smallest and the largest creature is important on the earth and uh, uh, human exploitation because of the deforestation and the uh, global exploitation displaces animals to the human places and uh, uh, for searching the food water and shelter human Uh, animals are coming to the human places, and the human are killing them, which is be very bad. Because initially we started this thing, and we started to disrupt the ecosystem. And intelligence and capabilities comes from the responsibility. So it is our responsibility to protect our environment and to give the food, water, shelter, and to care also to the stray animals. Thank you. brilliant 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 very very it was very good like the information was very very good matlab everyone will agree that it was very well researched and very very well thought matlab even i could have not spoke that much i would say wo that one point which i heard ki we humans destroy the environment because of which the stray animals are displaced to human places remember this point this can be the game changer for you for everywhere because nobody can think this far and so this is a game changer point it is a very very good point i would say this alone point can make anybody to think it was a very very good point thank you no questions no questions you already answered all okay yes sir it was very good this is the actual way which i was expecting ki bhai this is the way i would say now ma'am is the good example of even better than me i would say for debate was i am a knowledgeable person na i am not a person who knows a lot about debate okay so if okay so i think so everybody is done and i just preet sir do you want to add your opinion okay so anshika ma'am do you want to add your opinion because a lot of people said a lot of things so do you think that someone is wrong somewhere do you think okay, okay. so let's ha na so as we can see that we are in the almost like the last week of it so now we are going to focus on questions that can you know like uh, i was telling in the starting he you can ask these questions so i ask you questions so that i can tell you in the end of the meeting that this is what we are going to do we are going to make questions together which we can ask like if the topic is like this so we will create questions together and we will try you know those questions which will make people think 
both in opposition also and in the people who are favoring also so well to for today to it is not possible yes. today to we will go on with our that general wali thing hai yes. na but from tomorrow in advance i will keep it hai na i will make it and i will then we will discuss about it okay so the topic for today's discussion is a chicken lover can be a animal lover or not <laughs> what do you think पीपल Ma'am, do you? Do you eat? state me? Yes, sir. Are you an animal lover? Yes, I say it's not like two uh, different, uh, different things. My, my whole family is very fond of meat, and uh, we also meat. Uh, sorry, we also eat chicken or uh, mutton. Okay. So, sir, it's halal for us, and we eat. Yes, ma'am. so why did, achha, so you said you are an animal lover also so but you are killing animals for eating so how can you so i like killing animal if allah give us the blessing so we must have the blessing okay and we should go on that side i will not go on that side i don't have knowledge over there i will not go okay so if we take the perspective of others anshika ma'am what do you think that if i love to eat chicken can i be an animal lover uh, yesterday only i ate yes yeah, sir because yes yeah, sir because chicken lover is all food choice is your our compassion that not to say ki we are not a lover of animal okay. animals lover can prioritize human treatment so what does animal lover actually mean matlab if i am an animal lover what kind of person i am do i live with dogs or cats yeah. or... yes ma'am you are you are not audible ma'am What is the difference between an an animal lover and a person who does not love animals? What is the difference between them? Major difference. Sir, there is a some activities that person not love, like so human, like animals. Uh, person to person have uh, not like uh, smells, and other activities yeah. like a uh, dog have uh, smelling the persons and licking. like that activities okay so that's not no so now moving to archana ma'am what do you think ma'am even i would say What's that I, i give chicken to my dog <laughs> so it is a glitch no that my dog is eating <laughs> another animal what animal lover <laughs> okay yes yes archana ma'am animal lover so animal lover is uh, uh, like uh, when a person emotionally connected with uh, with her uh, with his animal and uh, like uh, uh, if you are animal lover it means uh, you care uh, you think about about them and you care about them and you emotionally attach like a uh, like a family if i have a animal so and uh, so i think uh, if i love our a brother so definitely uh, i love our uh, dog or cat whatever so yeah. how can we eat <laughs> i think <laughs> i i never and uh, uh, if a person uh, animal lover so i think uh, definitely uh, he 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 can't eat uh, chicken okay from my perspective नहीं बाकी तो आई एम ऑल्सो एन एनिमल लवर आई डेफिनेटली लव माई सिस्टर ओ 
I know they are seeing this recording there for. But I just... think sir, uh, you are animal lover, so you can't eat a uh, dog. Maybe you eat. In China uh... they eat, but in China they eat dogs. Yeah, I think they they uh they don't any animal lover. I think. Ah, sir, what they if can't any animal lover? What if I eat humans only? Then. Sorry. What if if I eat humans only? Oh my god. <laughs> It means you are monster. <laughs> not man. <laughs> human disorder. <laughs> okay, okay. It means you are not man. <laughs> you are monster. Okay, okay, okay. I think I chose the wrong topic, Anna. Right? It is revealing my dark yes, secret. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay, okay. So let's go towards other culture. Yes. Preet sir, what do you think? Can a chicken lover be an animal lover because he likes the taste of animals? Yeah, I can say that I love It's chicken. It's like so complicated. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. Like I am not able to think on this topic. Therefore, I ask you. Very complicated. To... This is like, like I, <laughs> like I am eating chicken. Then how can I be, like, no animal lover? Like if I am animal lover, like then I will just. Love that the taste of animal, like eating. Okay. So, yeah, it's so different. That I, this is two aspect of this. So definitely, they can't be a animal lover if they are eating. One side your dog is barking, like and one side you are eating the leg piece. Imagine the yeah. same. <laughs> <laughs> so, it seems little bit strange. What will like your dog think? Feel, Just imagine what will your dog think? You are eating the leg piece in front of him, and he is barking on you. He will think next to it is me. I am going to be on his plate tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely. Okay. Like we are not. Uh, like we are not uh, lover of like uh, these animals, like who are eatable. But we are just. Uh, Showing that love to the towards uh, things we are just cute, like dogs and cats and uh, others, which we like and uh, which we can uh, take us with a uh, like a uh, uh, pet. But mm. we yeah, don't yes. uh, like those, yeah, eating, eating animals. Okay. So, like we can't, we don't have feelings for them that that much like that, that we can. Take us as a pet or animal lover. Okay, okay. Uh, yes, Arti, ma'am, what do you think about this? The animal lover means when you when you love each and every animal uh, in our in our environment. So, uh, and nowadays people are consider if they are loving their dog and cat, they are considering them they are animal lover. But that is totally different. And animal lover uh, means the person who loves uh, not only their home uh, pet animal, the person who is animal lover, they uh, they also love the stray animals also. So, and uh, if the animal lover is eating chicken, that's okay because. Uh, now he loves the taste of chicken that's why he is eating uh, but i think if the person is a animal but a complete animal lover means he loves uh, dog cat uh, cow buffalo and chicken then that person definitely not eat uh, these things because uh, that person is creates a emotion with these types of animals na no? and if a person loves only the uh, animals who look who's uh, according to their appearance like a, a, a dog and cat then definitely that person is not a animal lover sir but i don't say whenever a chicken goes on the road i say wow wow what a chicken i wish it could be on my plate i don't think that it's <laughs> not being rude to them but sir, it's seen that uh, uh, the person who ate uh, chicken uh, once na they definitely love the taste of chicken what do you think if the chicken moves on my plate so will i eat it if it start dancing on my plate will i have the guts to eat it no sir oh my god i think so therefore that is the reason that we are not able to feel its existence on our plate 
and so one more thing when uh, people most it is seen that when uh, sometimes uh, most of the people if see uh, the way they are cutting and getting to their uh, home now so most of the people start uh, like uh, yes yes uh, giving wo kya kehte hai chhodna sir khana chhod denge sir wo they will give up <laughs> yeah <laughs> yes they will give up to eat uh, these time th- th- kinds of thing great great yes yes that is the good reason we can say because when a hen is moving on the road na i will not say ye the chammach aisa i will not do like this na <laughs> today to i will have sare char kilo ka i will have badhiya and i we don't feel like that okay so yes raman ma'am what do you think from so my point of view animal lover means when a person live all the species which are exist on the uh, on the earth on the environment and um, and uh, when you love only a particular breed and particular animal it is not and making sense that you are an animal lover okay we can say yes we can infer yes yes anshika ma'am what do you think about this particular topic animal lover can a chicken lover be an animal lover it's person to person depend on its choices what see his food choice sometimes we love the animals but uh, we love the chicken ma'am we are not in a you know you can say openly there is no problem we are not in a professional abhi we have Uh, completed that debate part. We are in casual conversation part, so you can definitely give your actual opinion also. Yeah, I'm going to lie. Okay, ma'am. Uh, what is the meaning of animal lover? Can you tell, Anshika, ma'am? Then tell the meaning of animal lover. Animal lover. This is not one thing. It's like a situation, and it is like a emotion when people connect with animals. When animal understands his uh, uh, emotions and give like type of sympathy without saying words, showing its emotion and eyes. That time, person loves animal. so why why do you think acha will you do you agree i want to hear once more do you agree that a chicken lover can be an animal lover yes so why do you think so because sympathy when i am eating chicken i don't say oh the chicken is dead now rather i enjoy my dish i am not ha huh. so yes what do you think ma'am uh, so you love chicken but you cannot cut that so animal i can say i cannot cut the animals from my own hands can we say that yeah. okay so why is it so why the chicken on my plate is different from why it is the same no the chicken is dead from my hands it won't you know come back to life again why is it different if i kill it rather than just eating it why why is the difference Uh, it's depend on person. I think it depends on chicken. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Could you, sir, please? Could you change the? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Ab paneer to we cannot discuss na. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's change the topic. Let's change the topic. Okay, so what can be the topic for today? What can be the topic now? Yeah, today, so I am not able to get. Please recommend, boy. Please recommend sir, some topics. So, can you eat snack? Can you eat snack? I couldn't understand. Snack, snake, 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 snake. You are saying that I have eaten snake. 
Actually, I have my mother. So actually, actually, I sorry. <laughs> my mother is there for everything. Oh my God! <laughs> actually, I want your level. No, <laughs> no, you are not. You are not. Ask me, I'm understood. Okay. That's why I'm asking. Okay, so let's have what? What topic can we have? Yeah. Okay. Ah, one topic I. Have in my mind. Do you think that by avoiding using ACs or avoid if we save electricity, are we saving the earth? Do you think that by saving electricity or by not consuming or sitting in the AC, are we saving the environment? Do you actually think only AC? Okay. So, do you have any reason to specify? So you talk about only AC or uh, electricity? Both, both. Electricity. Because we need electricity to run AC, so it is the same. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What do you think? Okay. So, Arti, ma'am, what do you think that by using less electricity or by avoiding ACs, can we save Earth? Yes, sir. Uh, by avoiding or by using less elect uh, electricity, we can save the earth. But sir, uh, without AC, we can't we can't survive nowadays because, uh, like I am living in a Delhi, so uh, in summer season there is a uh, temperature like fifty fifty degrees Celsius. So it's not possible to switch off the AC uh, for the electricity and sit sit without AC. But okay, but man, AC is cooling inside, but it is sending the hot air outside. So if we all together in Delhi yes. close the AC, maybe the temperature can go down. Maybe at least by three to four degrees, so it can definitely. Yes, sir. The, yes, sir. This might be the reason because it's scientifically also proved that the AC is the main reason to create this much of uh, hot, hot, uh, hotness on all in our environment. But how uh, if we um, or yes, if we reduce the AC a use of AC, it might be. But uh, nowadays we make our habit this uh, like this. Now we can't uh, we can't survive five five or ten minutes without uh, AC. We make ourselves like this. Okay. Yes, Anshika, ma'am. What do you think about it? Yes, Anshika, ma'am. What do you think that by saving electricity, can we save Earth? Anshika, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir, you asked. You asked. Uh, yes, Anshika, ma'am. Achha, okay, so let's wind up. Hai na? We have to go. Hai na? Let's wind up. I couldn't ask everyone, but it is the time for pack up over here. So I need to go. It, is, it was not in my hand. If I would, if I was at home, so I would have taken it. Yes, Rifat ma'am, do you want to say something? No, sir. I said, okay. Okay, ma'am. So let's conclude the meeting. Hai na? We will keep it till here. And tomorrow we are going to add so one more what activity. Will be the, what will be the topic for tomorrow? Ma'am, tomorrow's topic will be shared in the group. By the, by the way, sheet is given. And a sheet is given. Yes, but sir. still I will send no problem. So send it. Please send it tonight. Okay, okay. And, and please <laughs> everyone try to read the questions to ask yourself. I know it is a very good thing if you try. You don't need Google or anything for that. Just ask yourself. I write it in that way only. It is not very much technical. So, okay, so let's end the meeting for today. We all will meet tomorrow. Okay, good okay, night sir. everyone. Thank you so much, sir. Good yes, night, sir. Thank, Thank you, sir. Good night. Good bye, night. Sir. Good night, everyone. Bye, 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 bye. Good night, good night, good night.